making those noises. Something there? What's over there? <clears throat> Don't oh, you get paid get no for jumping in nothing. I like seeing things I don't know. Ugh, I need a nap. I won't be so spooked then.
That I see. No quiet now. I'm sure it was nothing. Oh, uh.
Enough lurking about. We got problem. <gasps> Yes, sir. Hey, is anyone there?
Something. yourself. Don't make me come find you. Don't worry, I'll find you. A 
Looks like a gear is missing. your job and on private guard duty. This is what I know. Sheriff's just as bad as those blue bloody nobles. Except he doesn't even know how to kick back and take it easy. No napping on duty, no short walking patrols. There. D did you say something? Nothing there. This place must be getting to me. Don't hurt. Sound? I see him! Help! Over here! Mm-hmm. 
What was that? Someone there? It's strange. Hmm. I thought there was nothing there now. Think something's there? Try any of that food left over from the night's dinner party? Are you kidding? Not even rats would touch that garbage. <laughs> well, I liked it. And I'm gonna go down to the kitchen and get me some more of it. We'll have fun, Taffer. I'm gonna go look for old Benny. I bet he's getting drunk in the game room again. Oh, don't trip over your own feet in the dark again. This time, try turning on the lights. I'll see if I can find the switch. And tell Benny I'll save him some tasty morsels in the kitchen. can see you! I mean it! Get back here, you coward! Probably just some rookie. Turn around!
Odd noises. Spilled mead all over that rug! 
Benny, you spilled the mead on the rug. Anyway, someone is on their way up to clean it up already. But you don't understand. These Kaffirs have no respect for such beautiful things. Benny, I think you've had too much to drink. Aren't you supposed to be on duty? Oh, so what am I at? Uh, anyways, I work go sleep it off. No more mead for you.
Something moved there. Sound the alarm! Seal off the area! Why? What happened? Sheriff Truard has been killed! The killer must still be in the building! What? The sheriff's been murdered? How? I don't know! Sound the alarms! Get help! There's a murderer loose! Truard's been murdered! Find the killer! Damn. Someone beat me to the sheriff. I better keep a low profile or else I'll be pinned as the killer. Sound the alarms! Seal off the area! Why? What happened? Sheriff Truard has been killed! The killer must still be in the building! What? The sheriff's been murdered? How? I don't know! Sound the alarms! Get help! There's a murderer loose! Truard's been murdered! Find the killer! Damn. Someone beat me to the sheriff. I better keep a low profile or else I'll be pinned as the killer. Motion coming from Truard's room, but on my way to check it out, it stopped. Uh, when I got to the room, I swear I saw a dark shape running off. I should have taken a shot at him. That's when we saw the boss had been killed. Did you get a look at the killer's face? No, it was too fast. It was standing right over his body, and I must have spooked it. When it saw me, it flew right out the doors and off the balcony. I never seen anything move like that. It couldn't have been human. Don't tell me. You think a monster killed the sheriff? Like I said, I don't know what it was. I sure I'm glad I wasn't in the room when that thing was ripping up the sheriff. No one should have to die like that.
There's probably something in this room that will tell me who killed Truart. This is what I'm looking for. How could the killer make his way through the estate and up to the third floor without being seen by any of the guards or servants? I guess it was he must nothing. have been close to Truitt. I'm not so sure. Whoever did this wasn't concerned about making it look like an accident. Killing the sheriff in his own house, in his own bedroom, it makes a statement. Not the sort of thing you'd want to do to someone close to you if you didn't want to get caught. Good point. But I still think the killer had help on the inside. Oh, the sheriff lives in the most secure manner in the city. No one can get in without a key, and there's mechanist security everywhere. Yeah, I'd say it was an inside job. Not too surprising. Truett didn't show a lot of discretion when recruiting for the watch. Hell, half the force used to work for the Downwinders, Ramirez, and every other crime boss in the city. That's true. Truard made more than his share of enemies since becoming sheriff. Anyone living outside of Dayport has a decent motive. I guess the Downwinders had something to do with this. Donald wasn't too happy when we raided his casino and shut him down. He probably sent one of his ghouls to deal with the sheriff. I'm willing to bet a month's pay the entire force is he that too? over this. Someone back there. No big secret that the sheriff was dirty. Oh, maybe it'll I be a quiet ship. Lieutenant Mosley will assume control of the city watch and clean up the mess. Nobody better I see before me. Guard! Good lord! A, a corpse! Murder! Uh, I, I mean, code six!
What was that? Ah. Let's get him! Had enough yet? You're going down! How could the killer make his way through the estate? and up to the third floor without being seen by any of the guards or servants. He must have been close to through it. I'm not so sure. Whoever did this wasn't concerned about making it look like an accident. Killing the sheriff in his own house, in his own bedroom, it makes a statement. Not the sort of thing you'd want to do to someone close to you if you didn't want to get caught. Good point, but I still think the killer had help on the inside. Oh. The sheriff lives in the most secure manner in the city. No one can get in without a key, and there's mechanist security everywhere. Yeah, I'd say it was an inside job. Not too surprising. Druid didn't show a lot of discretion when recruiting for the watch. Hell, half the force used to work for the downwinders, Ramirez, and every other crime boss in the city. That's true. like this at all. <laughs> Don't think you'll escape.
Things are getting very complicated. Even with Chuart dead, my problems are far from over, and whoever hired the sheriff to kill me is still out there. The key ring I found at Chuart's house belongs to Lieutenant Mosley of the City Watch, but it turns out she has an alibi for the murder itself. Still, she's probably neck deep in this whole mess. I don't know what's going on, and I don't like that. So I started following Mosley. I knew sooner or later she'd have to tip her hand and contact her friends, and sure enough, she just left the local watch station well before schedule carrying a letter. This is my chance. If I can trail her without being spotted, I should be able to find out who's on the other end of this little conspiracy. Lieutenant Mosley, out for a little stroll. Let's see where you take me. Lieutenant Mosley, out for a little stroll. Let's see where you take me. Don't get paid for jumping at nothing. Stupid. It's probably just some rookie.
Okay. Did you notice that? About time we cleaned up those cesspools of filthy tappers. Never one of them to find or sell. Cut your throat as soon as they look at you. Maybe it was rats. Jumping at nothing. I like seeing things I don't know. Letting those stay alert pep talks get the best of me. Somehow I doubt she dropped her note by accident. I better see what it says.
You know, I've been wondering. Hmm. Let's what? see who comes to What's claim the, the note. With having to wear fancy uniforms. You'd think you don't want any of the thieves knowing which one's the Sarge, or even that you're a swordminder set to watch for them. It's for the bosses, you clodhead. Otherwise, they'll never remember which of us is the guards and which is the servants. You can't expect them to remember names and faces. Somehow I doubt she dropped her note by accident. I'd better see what it says. Let's see who comes to claim the note. You know, I've been wondering. Hmm. What? What's the big deal with having to wear fancy uniforms? You'd think you don't want any of the thieves knowing which one's the Sarge. Or even that you're a swordminder set to watch for them. It's for the bosses, you clodhead. Otherwise, they'll never remember which of us is the guards and which is the servants. You can't expect them to remember names and faces.
gypsy creature. Have you gone? Ah, uh, well. We dare us not venture in there. Cemeteries are no place for the living to be treading about at night. Perhaps we should return home and forge the uh, backbone. Why enter there? Tis the only exit, and, and thou didst hit him with thy bolts. If he dost not come out, then surely he hath bled unto death. Very well. Quiet thy fearful heart, and we shall remain here. Cemetery. <laughs> That's original.
Where did he go? Guess there must be another way out of here after all. Wasn't expecting that. The portal from the graveyard deposited me in a grove of trees and the wounded pagan I was following is nowhere in sight. He's carrying Mosley's letter and I'd still like to know where he's heading with it. My plan is to track him and find out what's been going on. The pagan has a head start in what is probably familiar territory to him, but there's some blood on the ground. I'm hoping he's in too much of a hurry to stop and tend to that wound so he'll leave a trail of blood that I can follow. That's unless he bleeds to death before he gets where he's going. Meanwhile, I have no idea where I am or what I'll be up against, and even if I did, there's no going back for supplies. If I believed in it, now would be a good time for me to wish for luck.
was here. I knows it. Looking for this vile heathen? My side gives it here. <laughs> Gladly, pagan. Gladly. Noise there that softly calls. Hold! Builder!
escaped from somewhere near the gathering place. Yes, I have seen it. The wretched heathens did perform a ritual that allowed them to pass through. But alas, I could not follow. The Builder will forgive us if we perform their pagan rituals in pursuit of his wishes. Yes, friend, thou speakest the truth. Let us wait. Did you hear that? There's someone behind those trees. These people didn't have a chance.